All right, let's take a look at um, doing some fancy little trick of uh, u substitution for solving some exponential equations. Um, most of the time in, in like college algebra class, we you know we get the equal bases, so we have equal exponents, or we might use natural log or log or something like that to solve for them. But that's just if we have you know one term on each side. Uh, if we look at this equation here, we have 81x minus 9x to the 9 to the x plus 1 is equal to negative 8. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on, and I have three terms, which is something that uh, I currently can't do. And so we're going to have to use uh, a u substitution. And uh, so what I need to do is try to figure out what the u should be. And I'm looking at the 81 and the 9, and I realize that they have a common base of 9. So I'm going to see if I can rearrange some stuff here. So um, 9 is... Uh, 9 squared is 81. So what, all we did is we uh, we swapped those exponents. That's perfectly fine. When I have power to a power, I multiply. So there's the square to change that 9 into an 81. Okay, then I'm going to rewrite this. So I have um, uh, x 9 to the x plus 1, so we can write that as 9 to the x times 9 to the first power. And when I multiply like bases, I add the exponent. Well, and multiplication is commutative, so I'm going to sneak that 9 out in front. So it'll be 9 to the first, and then 9 to the x equals, no, it doesn't equal. Because I'm efficient, I'm going to add 8 to both sides of my equation. Okay, now the 9 to the x looks like a good candidate for the u. So u are going to be 9 to the x power, whether you want to or not. So we're going to replace that, so it's u squared minus 9u plus 8, and lo and behold, we can factor that. Factors into u minus 8, u minus plus 1. Oh no, that's not right. That's, uh, that's going to be a minus 1. So we're going to have to fix this. So this is going to be u minus 1. Okay, all right. That's going to be equal to 0. So u is equal to 8, or u is equal to 1. That should be plus 1. Now, this is okay because this is going to bring up a point. So I'm going to have something un not correct on the next uh, uh, slide. But it's going to be okay because uh, it brings out a, a point where we have solutions that don't work. Okay? So bear in mind it's u equals 8, or u equals, it should be positive 1, but we'll, we'll leave it as negative 1 just, just to entertain the thought for the moment. And uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the u's with 9 to the x's. And then to undo those exponents, we're going to go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. And we'll use the power rule to bring down the exponent of x. Okay, so that's what the power rule does. And then we'll divide both sides by the ln of 9. And um, so there's a couple of different ways we can write this. So x is equal to ln of 8 over ln of 9. And if we use our change of base formula, it's ln. The denominator argument is going to be the base, which is 9. And then the numerator is going to be the argument. Okay. So there's more than one way of solving this. Sometimes you, sometimes another method we can use is we can rewrite this in um, a logarithmic form. So the base is 9, the argument's 8, and that's equal to the x. That's certainly another route you can take. Um, we've been kind of going with the take the natural log of both sides. That's perfectly fine. If you want to rewrite, that's also fine. Um, and let me just go ahead and mention that change of base formula. Um, so if I just have um, log base b of x, and why this is good, because most calculators are not real fancy, so they are not going to do you know weird bases like base 9 or whatever. They're going to do the natural log, which is base e. You have your Euler's button on the calculator. Or it's going to do the common log, which is log base 10. So that's most of the time what we're going to do, because that's what our calculator can do. And it's going to be log of the argument over log of the base, or if you want to use the natural log, it's the natural log of the argument over the natural log of the base. Okay. Um, now, 
since I had an error up here, it's okay, we'll fix it. But it brings out a good point here. So I have um, <clears throat> 9 to the x is equal to negative 1. And if you remember, the range of an exponential is 0 to infinity. Um, if we continued this, we would have ended up taking the natural log of both sides. And uh, remember, the logs is a happy creature. They don't like to be fed 0 or negative, so you get a domain error. So that is the point I wanted to make there. However, for this particular problem, we didn't get um, negative 1. We got positive 1. So um, this is doable. And we can illustrate the change of base formula here. Okay, so if I rewrite, this is going to be log, the base is 9. Okay, and uh, put the 1 inside, and that's equal to x. Okay, and we can do the change of base just to illustrate it. So it's ln of 1 over ln of 9. And you all remember that when we take the natural log or log or whatever of 1. It's zero. Okay, so there's our other selection. Uh, solution is x equals zero.